So Jack and Julia and Anthony are all at PAX, having a good time, playing video games, and I'm still at the studio. It's so lonely. I mean, my brother's here, but he doesn't count. He just stares at the editing PC all day. Hey, guys. Get, Barrett, get back to work! Ugh. So AMD launched slash not launched the R9 Nano yesterday, but what they also actually launched is the R9 370X. But even that's bittersweet because it's only available in China. <laughs> AMD. AMD what? What are you doing? <sighs> Anyways, the card is aimed at the sub $200 price point. It's got the fully enabled 28 nanometer pit cairn chip inside. Unlike the cut down version inside the 370, the card also comes with 1,280 stream processors, either two or four gigs of VRAM, and a conflicted sense of self built in. It will automatically ask questions like, why do I exist? And do my creators actually care about good marketing at all? I don't know 370X. I don't know. HTC and Valve made a big deal about how the Vive VR headset was going to be the first complete VR system heading to consumers, and that may still be true, but for a lot fewer consumers than we thought. Valve has issued a press release that says HTC will offer the first commercial Vive units via a limited quantity of community and developer systems with larger quantities shipping in Q1 2016. So it sounds like basically another round of shipping headsets to developers and important type people. Does that count as launching first? Eh. Well, it looks like 2016 will be the year of the VR headsets anyways, with Oculus, Sony's Project Morpheus, and now the HTC Vive all launching early next year. 3D X-Point is the next big iteration in storage technology, and it's supposed to be capable of transfer speeds up to 19.2 gigabytes per second in a system using Intel's upcoming Broadwell EP processors. When the first SSDs based on that tech hit the market, though, they'll be limited by current interfaces to a mere 6 gigabytes per second. <laughs> That's, well, well, that's still pretty good, as right now PCI Express 3.0 X4 cards offer 4 gigabytes per second. Intel says that as interfaces improve, the max speed of their 3D X-Point drives will increase, and then we can swap whole movie collections like their trading cards. <laughs> Sup? <laughs> Quick bits. Google has had just about enough of Flash, so Chrome is going to no longer display ads that use Flash starting September 1st in an effort to actually get people using HTML5. The Huawei Watch, or as I like to call it, the Huawei Watch, has gone up for pre-order. The base model is 349 bucks, but you can get a gold-plated one for 800 bucks if you're not smart. And interestingly, it says it supports iOS 8.2. The gameplay trailer for Lawbreakers, Cliff Blazinski's new free-to-play arena shooter, has been released and shows some cool-looking, gravity-defying gameplay. Google's Project Sunroof is great, but there's another player in the mapping out solar panel availability game, MapDwell, and they've already mapped more cities than Google, so, so big whoop, Google. And Corsair has given an update on its Bulldog chassis. It's now all black, which looks much better in my opinion, and the feet are slightly slimmed down. It still doesn't look anything like an actual bulldog, but we understand Corsair. Baby steps. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Ah, Bob Saget. You might have noticed we're sort of disdainful of Apple products a lot on this channel, but the truth is they make really high quality products. It's just the price that's not so good. Well, this contest is perfect then because you could win an iPad mini 3 and a phantom glass screen protector without paying for it. It's free. That's what that means. All you gotta do is click here or the link in the description, fill out the form, and subscribe to the NCIX newsletter, but you can get extra entries by tweeting, getting your friends to enter, and other social media type things of that nature. So, as I already said, click here for more details. All right, that's it for Nailing Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos, follow us on social media over here, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now I'm going to go on Twitter and watch all the tweets from Pax Prime roll in with everybody talking about how great of a time they're having and, and pout. Don't try and tweet me. I probably won't reply because I'll have my face in a bag of peanut butter m &Ms.